What's up boys and girls, welcome back to my channel. You might be wondering why you're not seeing a game in the uh, main screen and why is it just my face <laughs> on your screen? Well, the reason for that is, well, there's no other way of saying this, I am an idiot. I uh, was shooting the day 21 video of uh, our solo survival series and um, 10 minutes into, approximately 10 minutes into the recording session, I had to use the facilities. And I stood up and I thought to myself, hmm, how about I pause the recording here because it's easier to deal with smaller uh, video recordings when it comes to editing. So I did that and guess what I didn't do when I came back from the toilet? I did not hit record. So I have about 10 minutes footage that I will be showing you from the beginning of that video. And after that, we'll do a damage analysis uh, on the base because it was day 21 and it was horde night. So at least I can show that to you. Uh, I'm not going to be deleting the game files or anything like that just because this happened. I'm going to continue as it is. And I genuinely apologize to those of you who follow this series and who wanted to see this Horde Night. And I've been very passionate about this Horde Night. Uh, trust me, I spoke to the camera for about an hour and it. I feel both... Uh, unhappy because I was unable to share that joy with you and also I am upset at myself for being an idiot. So uh, yeah, it took me like a day to actually come to terms with what happened and make this video and talk to you about it. So without any further talking, let me, let's me let see the beginning of that day 21 video and then after that I'll show you what the base looks like. All right, let's get into it. What's up survivors, welcome back to my channel, this is Survival Specialist, here we are in our underground bunker and it is day 21 of our solo survival series, yes that is right, the horde is on to us, we'll be fighting the horde tonight and the threat is imminent, so over the night I first organized my inventory, then I went and upgraded some of the walls upstairs using the concrete that we crafted the night before. Now, um, we are missing some spikes, so I'm going to go ahead and start making some spikes here. Let's grab our wood and let's go ahead and get it crafted here. Spikes, wood spikes. Let's make about, like, I don't know, um, I think 50 should suffice. Um, yeah, let's put the rest of our wood back in. And I'm also going to make two boxes. I will show you why we need those. So let's go ahead and make box, um, storage box, storage, wooden storage furniture, they're called now, that's right. Um, yeah, let's put these back. Um, yeah, that's right. Okay, and let's grab our rebar frames here. We do have some more cement. How about we get started on that and make, turn that into concrete mix too. We're going to need small stones and some more uh, Christ sand. That's right. Let's put these back. Okay, so I'm going to show you what we need to do upstairs. So let's get going there and see what we can do. Okay, guys. So the idea here is we have these two storage chests here, and these are prone to damage from all these rebar frames. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up my axe, and I am going to get these two blocks, break these two blocks, and see if I can place the secure storage uh, boxes that we have crafted in these slots. Let's see. Yes, we can. So this way, they will be out of the way of the projectiles, but I do not want those just on their own. That's why I picked up these rebar frames. So I would like to fill underneath them. Oh, there's the bell for the morning. We 
we will be upgrading these rebar frame blocks to concrete blocks when the time comes. So um, this is a good measure for the moment. We'll just use whatever we have at the moment. Okay, so that's all of our rebar frames. We're going to be upgrading these later on. I'm just going to leave that as is. In the meantime, I would like to show you guys all the upgrades we have done and upgrade a little bit more. We can upgrade 14 more blocks with that concrete that we have crafted. So let's see. Um, now you can tell that all of this bottom bit of the tower is concrete now that's still drying for example and we're going to need to put the spikes like here and yeah mainly here <coughs> pardon me so we need to upgrade these blocks i'm going to do the column like ones you know what i mean like the main supporting columns of the building So that way our uh, tower structure is completely standing on concrete blocks. And let's see, how much do we have left? Oh, we just ran out. All right, let's put this back here and let's uh, assess the situation here. So I will transfer all of this stuff over here into these boxes. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's grab our ammo and our guns. Okay, guys, so that's pretty much all the organization that we need for the guns. I'm going to go ahead and check these two guns. Now, this hunting rifle deals 85 damage. This one deals 94 damage, and it's level 6, so it's going to take two more slots. Very nice, very nice. If we can find the mods for those, we will transfer that. So let's go ahead and put our hunting rifle here. Um, oh, we got some uh, mods on this that we can transfer onto this one, since this one deals a lot more damage. Um, let's see, take this one out, take this one out, and can we put both of those in here? Yes, we can. Wow, that is very nice. That deals 120 damage. I'm assuming that's going to one-shot most zombies. So we'll be using that definitely over the Horde Knight when we want to use 762 ammo. So this is going to be sold. Now, we have found a level 4 compound crossbow. Let's see what the damage is on the level 3, 55, and on the level 4, it's 45. Shame. All right, so we're going to keep using the level 3 here. Let's put it back here. And we have about 240 crossbow bolts and 78 arrows. So this should suffice, at least uh, in my mind, uh, to control. And we have 119 more arrows. This should suffice in keeping the uh, horde at bay here. All right, so let's see. This is, okay, is this empty? Yes, this is empty. Okay, now let's transfer this box. This is for like repair kits and all the other stuff that we keep here in case of an emergency or the building stuff for the tower and the base here. So let's go ahead and put these that, 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 that in here. 
along with these. Okay, that's pretty good. It's already six o'clock, so I think that's enough organization. Oh, by the way, I also upgraded these bars at the front of the tower building facing the killing corridor to iron. So this way will be protected more. I would also like to upgrade these, but um, that's for when we come back. So for the moment, let's just hop on our bike and go towards the trader. Okay guys, here we are at the trader. Let's see if he's got any like tier two or tier three quests that we can complete with ease or if he's got like a level five fetch that we can quickly finish as well. What up trader? What do you need? I am just interested to see your jobs, my good sir. You got a level two clear zombies. That's 1.9 kilometers to the east. That is, uh, in the other city, isn't it? A little Household Victorian. Where is that? You have a game plan. Oh, yeah. All the way in the other city. Well, that's all right, because the rest of the jobs that he has are actually not that great. So, mm, let me check his inventory before we take off. Do you have any crossbow bolts other than the ones that we bought? You have some steel ones, and you're selling for all of them for 2,000. You know what? I'm going to pass on that for the moment. Okay, well, what so kind of let's go to the do? other city. If there's an interesting POI on our way, we'll stop by and loot that. Or we'll just qu clear that building, complete the quest, and see if we can pick up uh, an easier quest from the other trader. Whoops, I just realized I didn't have my camera on, guys. So here I am. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> And at that faithful moment, I decided to use the restroom, which brings us here. So it is the morning of day 22, as you can see, guys. And this is right after I was able to kill all the zombies from the horde. It took some time. As you can see, it's already five o'clock in the morning. I don't want to spend too much time here because this is obviously going to be the next day's video, the next episode. But you can see the extent of the damage that the building actually took over the night. Look at this. I mean, they have really beat this building the beating uh, the beating is real the, the, the damage is real look at that they were able to destroy that look at that they destroyed that part i mean look at these these blocks are missing i replaced all of these spikes they broke all of those i look at that i mean this is mostly the damage though mostly is due to cups exploding so several cups exploded like over here and some exploded here like I several exploded here actually that is why this column is actually broken and that's why that's broken and we went through all the 2000 junk turret ammo that we have actually created oh yeah this door is broken they broke that as well but the Iron bars are still standing. That's very good. So iron is reliable at this stage. And we're going to be replacing these hatch doors with um, proper hatch doors like vault hatches. And um, you can see that this chest actually took some beating like I anticipated. And in despite the fact that it was underneath the ground, this storage box took some damage. But other than that, We've managed to survive the night. We used up uh, all of our arrows. If you remember, I was showing some arrows and uh, flaming arrows that we had. We didn't use all the crossbow bolts that we have. We still have some. Maybe we'll utilize that on this day, on day 22. But um, And we found some loot from the uh, zombies as well. We found this level 6 stun button from the drop bags, the loot bags that the zombies dropped. Uh, I'm not going to... Uh, go any further into the day here because I want to keep this as a separate episode. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here, guys. Like I said before, I sincerely apologize for messing up day 21. 
I thought it was going to be amazing, but I've got nothing. So that makes me sad. And hopefully you'll be able to forgive me for that. I am not going to ask you to like this video. Uh, if you like my content, you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you've got anything to say, you can always comment down below. This is all that I have for the moment, guys. Until next time, you stay alive.